Well, the problem is wages. <laughs> wages are immobile as prices rise, and the wages remain flat as necessities are increasing, and the cost of a college tuition has risen 35 percent. So there are tax cuts for the wealthy instead of the middle class, which isn't right. And the Bush tax cuts give those who earn over $1 million a tax cut nearly 160 times greater than that received by middle-income Americans. We're going to make the tax cut fair to everyone instead of just um, overtaxing the middle class. We're going to cut the taxes. Well, what does cutting taxes have to do anything with jobs? Who's going to pay for the taxes, too, that you're cutting? When you cut taxes, that puts more money into the economy and allows more people to invest in business. That's actually a Republican idea. I'm surprised you don't know about it. <laughs> Thank you. Carl Marx here, signing off. All right. Hey, just a comment to the a comment for everyone that's in that room. Really impressed with your level of uh, preparation compared to all the classes we've debated so far. You have definitely been the most prepared. Correct. So we'll do the other side. And I, I have a feeling, yeah, I have a, a feeling that the other side in this class is going to step up their preparation. 